What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you five of my favorite hidden features on this 2023 Subaru Forester. But these will work on almost any Forester. Now, first and foremost, there's a little black button up underneath here, and this button will allow you to use a secret pin code to unlock your Forester's tailgate if you do not have the key fob. Now, let's hop inside the photo bay, and I'm gonna show you how to do this. All right, so I wanted to hop into the photo bay so I could hear this a little bit more clearly, and maybe you guys could hear it as well. But what you want to do is you want to have the key fob in your pocket. You want to press and hold the lock button and then press and hold the lock button up underneath. Once it starts beeping, go ahead and press unlock within 30 seconds. Now, once it's unlocked, you have the option to enter a five digit password using button presses to coordinate to numbers. So I always just do one, two, three, two, one. So go ahead and hit it once. Wait for the beep two. Wait for the beep, three, then one more. Now we have to enter it again. One, two, one. Now you can see the vehicle went ahead and unlocked, and now we know that it is working. So we can actually test this by putting the key fob into sleep mode. So what you're gonna wanna do to do this is press and hold the lock button, then hit the unlock button twice. The light will flash and then you'll know it's in sleep mode. And we know this because it won't actually unlock the tailgate when we try and use the button underneath. So we know it's in sleep mode now. So let's go ahead and use our password, two and one. So what this does is it actually unlocks the driver's side door. So we can go ahead and get in and access the key fob that we've put inside for safekeeping and all that kind of stuff. It won't actually unlock the tailgate, unfortunately, but it does still allow you access to your vehicle if you do forget your key fob, lose it, battery dies, if you wanna lock it inside the cabin while you're going on the trail or at the pool or whatever the case may be, it's a really nice feature. So definitely set the secret password on your Forester. Oh, and if you did wanna get your key fob out of sleep mode, just press any button. But if you hop back out here to the tailgate, you can actually set a memory height for your tailgate. And I'll show you how to do that right here. So if you go ahead and turn the vehicle off, open the tailgate up, Set it to whatever height you want it to be. So let's set it super low for dramatic purposes. So like right here maybe, leave it there. Then you wanna hop inside the cabin and push the memory height button. Then you come back over to the tailgate and you're gonna press and hold this button here. Once it beeps, you're good to go. Now that position is locked in. This is super helpful if you park your car in a garage that's a little bit lower, maybe a carport, something along those lines, and you don't want the um, tailgate to go all the way up and hit the top of that garage. You can set it to whatever height you want. Now, obviously this is pretty dramatic. This is just for demonstration purposes. But now, once we have it locked in, if we go ahead and press the button to close the tailgate, it'll close. And then watch if we open it back up, it's only gonna to open to that height that we had set it at. And you can tell because it's super dramatically low. And if we wanted to, we could push it all the way back up. So a super helpful tip for setting that position memory height. And now that it's all the way up, we can see a couple little bonus hidden features inside. One of those being a little extra hook on the back of the cargo gate here that you might not have seen, but that's super nice. You can use that if you need to hook something up there, whether that be additional bags or ropes or things of that sort, that's nice to have. You also have some little hooks here inside for additional netting or straps, things of that nature, but it does have a six pound limit here. So don't hang anything super heavy, but if you need a little bit of extra storage or to put you know, cables and stuff out of the way, those are some nice organizers there. And one more thing while we're back here in the tailgate area, is you actually have your rear view camera right here. That's great, but sometimes if you're gonna take the wilderness into the wilderness, you're gonna get that thing dirty. Here's how you can clean it off nice and easy. So that's a super helpful way to get this rear camera nice and clean for you when you are off-roading. Let's hop inside the cabin and take a look at a couple more hidden features. All right, so there are a ton of great customization features and personalization features here inside of the Subaru Forester, but I just wanted to take a look into the menu system and find a couple of the little lesser known ones that you guys may have missed. So if we go into settings, hop over to vehicle, we go down to the keyless entry system. Now you have keyless entry on both of the doors here. You have little lines where you can place your finger and it will go ahead and lock the vehicle and you can put your hand inside of the door handle to unlock it. 
but this can be completely customized. So if we go into the Kios Entry system, you can change whether you want to hear an audible signal or not. So you can turn that off or on. Under the driver door unlock, you can have it unlock either just the driver door or all the doors. So if you're an individual, a single person, you only want your specific door to unlock, I would go ahead and recommend enabling driver door only. But if you're a family, you want all your doors to unlock so all the kids can hop in, go ahead and turn it to all. Same with the rear gate. So if you use the button up underneath, you can have it unlock just the rear gate or all the doors. This is really helpful if you're carrying groceries, you go ahead and unlock the rear gate and these doors will unlock also so the kids can hop in again. And then you can also enable or disable whether your warning flashers flash when you lock or unlock the vehicle, super nice. In addition to this customization, you also have auto door lock and unlock. So yours is probably already set by default, but if it isn't, you might wanna check this out, but you may want it to auto lock when you reach a certain vehicle speed. So you can have it do that. You may wanna turn this off altogether if you don't want it, that's fine too. Or you can have it lock when you shift into or out of park. For unlock, you have a couple other customizations. You could do the same shift into or out of park. You can have it unlock when you turn the ignition off or you can have it unlock when you open the driver's door or turn it off altogether, up to you. One other nice little convenience feature that may have been disabled for you guys is one touch lane changer and it's exactly what it sounds like. So when you regularly use the lane changer, you have to push all the way down to get it to flash multiple times. If you just tap it one time, it's just gonna you know, flash one time. But if you go into settings and turn on one touch lane changer, if you just tap the stock one time, it's gonna flash three times. So this is really nice convenience feature so you don't have to push it all the way down, all the way up to change lanes. It's just a little bit more convenient. And for most of the Subarus I've looked at, this is disabled by default. I don't know why. And for one little bonus feature for you guys that have made it this far in the video, let's talk about the panoramic sunroof here. So if I open this, it's gonna absolutely blind me with God's light here. <laughs> I can open this all the way up and get access to the panoramic sunroof. But these buttons right here will actually open it for you. You probably already knew that. So if I go ahead and press this, it'll open and slide back that sunroof and it will make its way all the way back, but it is going to stop. It's not gonna go all the way back. So really you're not taking full advantage of that panoramic roof. But if you press and hold the slide button again, it'll actually continue to slide back till it's completely out of the way and you get the full access of that panoramic sunroof. So if you want your rear seat passengers to just get that little bit of extra sunroof, that little bit of extra air, that little bit of extra, you know, open cabin feeling, you can do that by just pressing and holding the slide button a little bit longer. And then if you wanna close it back up, just press on the other side and it will go ahead and slide in for you, close all the way up, and you'll be good to go. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you learned something new, drop a like. Tell me in the comments down below, what is your favorite hidden feature or did I miss one that is your favorite? Let's talk about it down in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be one of the first to see every single new video the second I hit publish. We'll see you in the next one.